What a gorgeous week it's been. Before getting into the pronunciation of this sentence, let's talk about the word gorgeous. Now, this is a word that I find that many people are not familiar with, but it's fairly common in American English speech. So it's a word that you need to incorporate into your vocabulary as well. Now, let's look at the pronunciation. Both of those G's have a different pronunciation. The first G is pronounced G, like in the word go. The second G is pronounced as a J sound, like in the names John, Jerry, or Joe. Whenever learning new words in English, it's also important to learn the stress pattern. In the word gorgeous, you'll notice that primary stress is on the first syllable, and there's weak stress on the second. Pronounce it with me, gorgeous. The next thing we want to look at is sentence stress. Some of the words in our sentence will be pronounced loudly and longly, and others will reduce. You won't hear them quite as clearly. The words that you're going to hear loudly and clearly are what I call content words. These words are full of meaning. You need to hear them clearly to understand what's happening in the sentence. The other words are small words. They're grammatical function words for the most part. It's not very important to hear those clearly to understand the meaning in the sentence. Now let's go ahead and highlight the content words. Our content words here are gorgeous and weak. So you'll notice how they stand out in the sentence. What a gorgeous week it's been. One more thing I'd like to point out to you. Take note of the contraction, it's. This contraction is not it is, but it has. This here is the present perfect. What a gorgeous week it has been. Here we're using the present perfect because it's somewhat like a combination of past tense and present tense together. The week is not finished. It started a few days ago and continues until now. So the gorgeous weather has been going on for three or four days, including today. So that's why we're using present perfect. Now let's take a look at the linking in the sentence. What you'll notice here is that the words smoothly combine together to give it that familiar American rhythm. You'll notice that what a combines smoothly together. Don't separate the words, what a gorgeous week. No, what a gorgeous week it's been. Notice how they smoothly connect. We're also going to connect gorgeous week here, week it's, and it's been. How do we connect words? If you've taken any of my courses before or watched any of my YouTube videos on linking, you'll remember that consonants connect to consonants. So S connects to W here. The C I'm using to stand for consonant. Also, S here combines with B, it's been. Other areas we combine, we combine ending consonants, T, to a beginning vowel, what a, and we combine this ending consonant, K, with the beginning vowel, I. So let's go ahead and pronounce this together. Now say it just as I say it. What a gorgeous week it's been. What a gorgeous week it's been.